Hi everyone, welcome back. This is going to be a short video about a round of golf I played at a little nine-hole golf course. It's called a Gila Golf Course. It's a municipal course uh, that's actually attached to another 18-hole municipal course. Another actually pretty good course for the value for a muni, but uh, this one's regarding the short uh, par 3 course that's attached to it. Uh, first hole is a short par 3, just under 100 yards. And thought I caught it pretty good, but it was actually a little bit into the wind and it came up a little short. Had about 60 feet up the hill and there was a little ridge and uh, speed was okay. Uh, came up about 4 or 5 feet short and I had that left to try to save par and not start with a 3 putt. But I just pushed that a little bit and so uh, not off to a good start putting wise. I've actually been working on a new way to try to get better at lag putting, but back to that later. Second hole is one of the longer par threes on the course. I was hitting seven iron here, and I pretty much shanked it. Um, one of my swing flaws is that my hip tends to get too close to the ball, and um, yeah, so that was no good. And I was in actually a pretty bad spot, about 40 yards from the green, downhill lie, but I actually hit a really good pitch here. I could easily have thinned it or dumped it in the bunker, but I had a good one to just about 10 feet. That was a really good shot and a decent chance to save par after that shank on the tee, but yeah, just missed that one. And so I tap in for bogey. So two bogeys to start, not ideal. Um, the third is another short little par three under 100 yards. It's about 75 today. And I just straight tugged it left and uh, there's mounding over there um, don't want to miss left here or short for that matter and so I had this downhill little pitch and it caught a little thin and it ran out pretty good so just over 10 feet here to try to save par a little uphill and just misread that one so three bogeys in a row to start now when I play this course my usual goal is about four over. There's four par threes over 100 yards, so I allow myself a bogey on each of those, and pars on the ones under 100 is four over four target, but I'm already three over after three. Fourth is a tricky little hole. Uh, there's a valley in between the tee and the green, and the green itself is kind of narrow, but I had a really good one here, and I actually had about 10 feet for birdie which it would be really nice after the three bogeys in a row to start. I sort of under hit this putt, but it just had enough pace to get it to the hole, so I uh, was able to make a birdie to kind of offset the bad start. Fifth is a short par three, about 60 yards. Uh, a bunker short, so I didn't want to leave it short, and so I hit it just a little bit long. Now, before we see my second shot on this hole. I wanted to show you my new lag putting strategy. I don't know if it's good, but uh, basically I'll pace it off. This one was about 15 paces or 45 feet. I'll go halfway, that was that, about eight paces. I'll try to get a feel for the speed of the putt. Then I'll go uh, another quarter of the way to get a speed for it there, a sense of the speed for it there. And then finally I get to my putt and I've already lined up my putt at this point. And then based on that feel, uh, I'll try to hit the putt because uh, I have some issues with my speed, especially on my longer putts. So trying something new out that I saw, uh, maybe it'll work for me, maybe not. It was pretty good here and just left myself a little uh, tap in for par. So I've righted the ship a little bit. Uh, on to the sixth. Now this is a long par 3, 173 yards. Now usually this plays into the wind, but today it was downwind. It was a little bit opposite wind today. So I just hit a 7 iron and I caught it really flush and made it on the green. So this was my birdie putt. Now this one was tricky. It was like 12 paces, but there was quite a bit of break to it and I just underestimated it. And that just leaked out to the right a lot. And so now I have about 10 feet to try to save par. And so that's my second three putt. Yeah. So on this first putt, I don't think 
speed was an issue, although it was maybe a touch firm, but the line was really bad and that's what led to my three putt. Moving on, the seventh is a short par three, about 90 yards. Now, when I hit this, the line was really good from my vantage point, and it looked like it was close. But, you know, it's happened to you too, I'm sure, where from where you hit it, it looks like it's really close, but when you walk up, you realize that it was probably like 15 or 20 feet away. Now, this one, it looked really good, but I really didn't know how close it was until I got up to the green. And the closer I got, it looked even better. So this was actually the closest I've ever been to a hole in one. I still haven't had one. Um, I've had one other shot that was maybe about two feet away, but this was uh, the closest to a hole in one I've ever been in my life. Now, I don't know if a uh, hole in one on these little short par three courses would count. I don't know if I would want my first one to be on a course like this. But then again, beggars can't be choosers, and I'll take my birdie any day. And just uh, fixing my ball mark so that the golf gods don't curse me, right? So yeah, uh, second birdie of the day, too. Uh, on to the eighth, it's, uh, 70 yards about. Now, from that sound, you could probably tell it was a little chunky, but it worked out really good because um, it just caught the front part of the green. And since there wasn't a lot of spin on the ball, because it caught it fat, it just rolled onto the front of the green. And it left me about uh, just over 12 feet here for birdie. And that would sneak in. Now, that was my third birdie of the round. I know it's just a par three course, but I've never had three birdies in a round, uh, much less uh, through nine holes. So definitely not going to argue with that. The ninth hole is about 150 yards, last hole of the day. I thought I kind of flared it a little bit right, but with the wind behind me, it straightened out my slice. And I had a decent look here from about 26 or 7 feet for a fourth birdie. But yeah, that's a little too greedy. But tap in par, I'll always take that. So just overall, um, I do like this course. It's good to practice a uh, short game, which looking at my scorecard, I still need a lot of because I still had two three putts on this short course and I couldn't really get up and down when I was off when I missed the green. But overall, uh, three birdies, can't complain about that. Uh, one over is definitely a really good score for me on this course. So uh, really happy with that, especially with my almost hole in one. In an upcoming video, I'll try to show you around from the 18 hole course that's attached to this, but I hope you guys can come visit sometime so we can play them together and thanks for watching.